And watch this. Paul didn't say the knowledge. You know what I'm saying? Not the knowledge of things that have been seen, but he called uh, uh, evidence. I mean, he he said evidence. He didn't say the knowledge that uh, that uh, evidence of things that. The evidence of things that are not seen. He said the evidence. He didn't say knowledge. That I want you to understand that is very important. Because here's the thing. That the problem is certain people are not perceiving the word of God as evidence. You know what I'm saying? As gathering evidence. That it was. it's supposed to help you see to reveal something to you. And the thing is, now watch this, it says faith come by hearing, hearing the word of God. Now that's very important because it's saying that the word word of God, or more likely the knowledge of the word of God, you know what I'm saying, is we gather this to establish faith. You know what I'm saying? We gather this to establish faith. And now we know that, and then it says, now we go to scripture, faith is the substance of things over for these evidence of things are not seen. Or more likely, the word of God is not supposed to just be, more likely, words that you're supposed to see to just see something. But it's supposed to be word that we're supposed to come to an understanding. Like, I talk about my YouTube channel. And in my ministry, reality that is all is from Matthew's 13 and 15. That it says they have eyes, but they can't see, they have ears that they don't hear, neither do they understand, understand in their heart, not gain knowledge, but understand in their heart. More well, likely that I taught understanding is about a light to see things in detail. It talks about in Ephesians 1 and 7. One in 18 or 17 or 18, it talks about the eyes of the understanding will be enlightened unto you to see wisdom and revelation. Not exact words, but it talks about wisdom and revelation, the, the eyes of our understanding. You know what I'm saying? When we start operating in what Paul says in our eyes and our understanding, we're supposed to see the word of God as evidence. You know what I'm saying? And the evidence that is being revealed that Jesus put out and the apostles put out in the uh, uh, the letters to the church and stuff like that. Everybody, Peter, uh, Paul, and James, and John, and Jude, and all these people, all these people are putting, giving us evidence. They're not giving us knowledge. And the problem is, People are perceiving the word of God as knowledge. You know what I'm saying? Just knowledge that if we if we get this knowledge, we get God. No, not exactly like that. No, it's when we understand what this knowledge that is given to us as evidence is supposed to help us see a mystery. It's supposed to help us see the mystery that is supposed to be revealed to help you see pretty much the uh, future. It's supposed to help you see what God is going to do. It's supposed to help you see everything that's supposed to happen in its order to, in order for you to see revelation. You know what I'm saying? We're supposed to know what's going to happen in, in God's divine plan. We're supposed to know that if we are following the Spirit. You know, that's the, the, the key thing. Is, are we following the Spirit? Because it says in first. Corinthians 2 and 10 it says you know the, for the spirit searches all things in the deep in the deeper things of God but it's the key word is searches all things and all things mean everything you know what I'm saying and the thing is and how we are operating in the spirit we are supposed to be revealed Every, every see revelation of how much we're supposed to see concerning of what God is going to establish. We're supposed to see it, but if we're operating in spirit and truth, you know what I'm saying? We can see it, but if we're not operating in spirit and truth, as what Jesus said, uh, John 4 24, God is spirit, and they shall worship them, must worship him in spirit and truth.
problem is the church system is not going to worship in spirit and truth because their system embraced a lot of lies. You know what I'm saying? A lot of wrong things of, are operating according to the church that will hinder the ideal to see things the way they are supposed to be seen and revealed to us. As it says, uh, as it says in 1 Corinthians 2 uh, and 9, eyes have seen, no ears have heard, no it enter. The key thing about that, it enter into the hearts of men. It enter to your heart. That goes back to what Jesus said in Matthews uh, 13 and 15. That, you know, enter into the heart of men. You understand in your heart that you're supposed to see revelation. You're supposed to see how things are supposed to make sense concerning God's divine plan. It's for that last, as what Jesus put it down, like I just said about Matthew 13 and um, uh, 11, it's given unto them to know the mysteries of heaven. Now, I'm finna um, talk to, uh, uh, well, I'm finna reveal something about, he asked a question about the menorah. And he asked me uh, why there's nine um, nine uh, candles on the menorah. And the thing is, the nine that I did a, a message and I did videos on nine, nine is an important number. It's a very important number uh, that I discovered that nine is a key. It's a divine key. Now, the Bible talks about the keys to the kingdom. Yes. And you'd be shocked how much nine is supposed to play a role of understanding the keys to the kingdom. As you know that, uh, you know what I'm saying, uh, there's, it, and watch how God's pattern, watch how God's pattern is supposed to make sense. Of, of what I'm just saying. I say, well, Mac, nine is supposed to be a key. Yes, it is a key now uh, that I found out, you know, in research and all kind of things that I can't want to talk about. But watch this. Nine, there was, there's nine gifts of the Spirit. There's nine gifts of the Spirit. Just go carnal. Gifts of Spirit is in 1 Corinthians 12. You know what I'm saying? And there's nine fruit of the spirit. The fruit of the spirit is in Galatians 5 and 22. You know what I'm saying? There's nine. Now why Why is there's nine gifts of the spirit and why there's nine fruit of the spirit? Because nine is a key. It's a spiritual key. You know what I'm saying? And it's supposed to be a spiritual key. It's supposed to unlock something. Now, now this is a spiritual idea. You know what I'm saying? Not a natural idea. That's what is important. Now watch this. Now, as you know, that nine is the months that uh, uh, is in a uh, year. Nine months of the child is in the mother's womb. You know what I'm saying? In nine months. But, you know, when nine months is up, then birth proceeds. Now, in the, now, here's the thing. Now, watch this cool part. And I, I hope you find out. How you doing, sir? Uh, watch this cool part. Uh, now, what God talks about, the the hear, O Israel, it says in De Deuteronomy uh, 6. Hear, O Israel, the Lord thy God is one Lord. Now, what, what does one mean? You know what I'm saying? Uh, one can mean like, anything it can mean anything but the idea that it those that truly see God you will understand that one Lord mean is supposed to mean order it's supposed to mean order uh, one is the first number of course in counting and the Lord thy God is one Lord as in he's first He's the beginning, as we know, in the beginning, God created the earth, and he's first, you know what I'm saying? And the thing is, it, it means that, you know what I'm saying? That's how I don't know. All right? And that's one idea. Now, another idea that uh, I learned about the Lord thy God is one Lord is the ideal of ten. 
that, you know, it's interesting. I, I researched the word 10. Now, as you know, that there's 10 commandments. And watch this. There's, now, watch this. Now, let me go. Okay. There were, the children of Israel went through 10 plagues. And when they went through the 10 plagues, watch this. Something was unlocked. You know what I'm saying? I'm finna show you something. Some was, a key was created, key was there, and then something unlocked. It. And watch this. It was nine plagues, and then ten booms, key unlocked. Now follow that pattern. And all of a sudden the children of Israel were free. Now fast forward that God gave Moses ten commandments. You know what I'm saying? To follow, to uh, to follow. If you follow these ten commandments, he will be your, he will be your God. He, he will be your God, pretty much. Now watch this. Now, uh, same pattern. Go to the church. The church was in the upper room for uh, 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 in the upper room, and in the tenth day. See, now watch this. That ninth day. The ninth day created a key. And then when the tenth day came, all of a sudden, a divine. Now notice between the children of Israel being released, a divine procedure took place. As we know, the children of Israel was free from Egypt, and then Pharaoh and his armies tried to uh, get the children of Israel, and bam, God delivered them from their enemies. A divine action took place concerning heaven. Now, as we know about the, uh, fruit, uh, the the day of Pentecost, they got in one accord, and when the tenth day, the the key, nine key was there, and then when the tenth day came, you know what I'm saying? Uh, see, and number ten also means fulfillment. It means the fulfillment of, 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 of things, that things are fulfilled on the number 10 that I learned. And the key boom, fulfillment releases. And what you don't understand about the, now why 10, uh, nine gifts of the spirit, nine fruit of the spirit. It's when we become one with God, What's supposed to happen is a fulfillment is supposed to fulfill within us. A divine fulfillment is supposed to happen and occur. Just like I showed you in the children of Israel getting delivered from Israel. And the same thing as the day of, of the Pentecost, the day of Pentecost. A fulfillment, boom, a fulfillment. The um, Holy Spirit came and watch this. In that sequence, Peter went outside and explained to the people, thousands of people, what occurred in that place. And all of a sudden, the people got filled with the Holy Ghost. What, why did they got filled? Because of fulfillment. This fulfillment came in something bringing forth spiritually, like water. It was kind of like a, a flood. Let's say uh, the spirit is like a flood. And that flood, it filled the uh, upper room. And the upper room of the fulfillment was released to the people that heard Peter and spoke. And they were filled with tongues. That is the divine fulfillment of something. Same thing as a pattern of a baby getting uh, nine months is gone. Now it's time for the fulfillment that the baby fulfills its purpose to be released to the earth. That's the ideal of the ideal of nine. The nine is a number of a key that's supposed to unlock something to open to fulfill. You know what I'm saying? That I learned about nine. And the thing is, and it's supposed to, in the ideal of the Hanukkah, uh, you know, menorah, is supposed to bring forth a fulfillment concerning it's supposed to happen. You know what I'm saying? And just like what I just revealed to you that I hope you understand concerning, you know, solving a mystery, but taking evidence of the scriptures to reveal a mystery, a fulfillment of happening. So that's just an example. There's more. There's a whole lot much more uh, information that I can tell you about a lot of stuff concerning the mysteries of God.
that is about a universal perspective. Like that's another message. All right, hope you got that, and I hope you get it. God be glory, him, for the Lord Jesus.